Good afternoon, or excuse me, good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Good morning, and hello, Wednesday. How about that? Also, this was actually posted to the Harlem website. So, hello, Harlem Library. Hope you're having a great day. Let me introduce myself a little bit if you haven't been in one of my classes before. My name is Alex Cooper. I teach the computer classes at the Columbia County Library in Evans, the Harlem Library, the Uchi Creek Now, Grovetown Library. Yay, we got built a new library. Yay. <laughs> library classes. So if you haven't been on one of my on-ground classes in the past or have been in one of my virtual classes, welcome, welcome, and welcome, welcome anyway. So what we're doing today, of course, is we're on our YouTube channel here, GCHRL videos. And we're actually doing, excuse me, internet shopping and digital couponing okay so today we're going to cover lots of stuff searching for great deals online uh, we'll talk about uh, searching multiple products excuse me a uh, product search for multiple stores at the same time and also we'll talk about coupons and apps too and if you want to post anything like questions you can post them in the chat <laughs> Um, you do have to be logged into YouTube to be able to do subscribe or uh, like any of, um, excuse me, subscribe or post any uh, questions into the chat. So do realize that. But I always start class off by how can I help? Okay. So what questions do you have? Since if you come to one of our live classes like this and you're free to ask questions, and of course I can answer them and kind of drive the class. If we're kind of basic, we can get more advanced if you want to or just kind of focus more on the subject you're interested in. Now yesterday we did Windows 10 and Flash Drive Basics. That video is still up and available, so you can check that out. And this morning we're doing our internet shopping and digital couponing. And this afternoon we're gonna do kind of part two to the Windows 10. We're gonna focus on internet and browser basics. And we're also gonna be talking about add-ons and ad blockers and surfing the internet with our browser, stuff like that, okay? Tomorrow in Grovetown, 11 o'clock, we're gonna be doing Introduction to Raspberry Pi and Project Ideas, so come for that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We cover a lot of stuff on there. And we'll also talk about the different types of getting started, different types of Raspberry Pis there are, and of course, getting started with kits and all kinds of stuff like that. This is usually an on-ground class, kind of an all-day boot camp class that we do. So the big thing is to give you the handout and a kind of an overview of doing projects with the Raspberry Pi so you can get started. And then tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be doing Google search and internet safety basics. Okay, so kind of like part three, we'll do more advanced searching. We'll talk about internet scams, spotting fake news, and keeping yourself safe on the internet. Okay. Did I read that down? Oh, look, I have shoulders. How about that? Oh, now I'll disappear for a second. Here's our uh, list of classes for the rest of the month. Next week, we're going to be doing internet safety and security. Uh, we'll do, do again our video creating basics class, learn some new stuff. So we'll get to play around with that. And then we'll do on the 26th, internet safety and security once again at 11 o'clock. And then on Grovetown, we're going to be doing our introduction, uh, excuse me, we're going to do, be doing uh, gadget help in the morning and gadget help in the afternoon, okay? So definitely look for that. And the cool part about that is that we actually have two places there. Remember gadget help with me, Alex, is kind of a drop-in, virtual drop-in, where you can stop by and ask um, questions about your gadget, trying to connect to RB Digital, trying to get to those free audio um um, audio ebooks, <laughs> the audio books, yeah, audio e audio books. There we go. That makes a little bit more sense. A little bit of a side note: the library is open with limited services and hours. Curbside holds pickup is available. Please make sure to thank our librarians for doing that service. They're working very hard to get that done and out to you. You can go to gchrl.org for details. Or you can call the libraries with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like our Facebook pages so you'll be up to date. And also like our videos 
like a bit like this video and also um, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well the easiest way to find our YouTube channel is just to search for GCHRL videos and it'll pop right up all right so let's go back let's talk about focus on our topic today internet shopping and digital couponing so as folks are coming in to our classroom I will say welcome 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 and I'll also go ahead and post the handout so you can actually download it and view it too what we usually do with our classes when we're on ground is we actually have a handout that you can take with you and then we work with our computers in front of you So, and let me go ahead and post that in our chat. So, give me one second. There we go, right there. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So one thing I'll do is with the handout here is I'll actually kind of talk about the handout and then we'll kind of flip back and forth. Okay. So we'll cover what's in the handout first. And then I'll pull our browser open and focus on what we want. And of course, if you want to ask any questions, feel free. So, of course, what we're covering today is internet shopping and digital couponing. Let's talk about what we're going to cover this morning. We're going to talk about shopping online safely. We'll talk about knowing your rights online. We'll talk about scams. We'll talk about browser tabs. We'll talk about product search and compare um, sites and believe it or not Black Friday and Cyber Monday <laughs> will be upon us before we know it we're not of course we're still at home staying safe and everything so we're not a hundred percent sure how some of these stores are going to work these may all be online cyber deals mostly we will see we haven't heard what plans the big stores have um, decided to do but we just need to keep an eye out they may be doing something a little different this year also we'll talk about cyber monday we'll talk about apps online stores gift ideas okay coupon sites and daily deal sites which i absolutely love sites like groupon and if you've never used anything like that do realize that um, you're missing out uh, especially if you you know in the future or now of course are looking for deals in certain cities or something <laughs> uh, maybe uh, local something is happening and you can actually get a good coupon for it okay that's really good with the Groupon or the daily deal sites and we'll talk about some retailer apps Kroger Chick-fil-a uh, McDonald's we'll talk about ones like that okay all right so let's talk about keeping ourselves uh, safe when we're trying to make a purchase online okay so before you make a purchase online make sure that your computer is ready okay and how do we do that well we got to make sure that we keep our browser and our window updated our I mean, windows updated or for our Mac make sure it's updated as well that also goes for the apps on our phone so if any of the apps that we're talking about later 
do need to make sure you have the latest version of those apps sometimes if your your software on your like cell phone or something doesn't automatically update you may get a notification go to the app store and download update so just be aware of that okay uh, look for the address bar padlock symbol when entering credit card information here's our big one right here uh, of course make sure you have antivirus and malware software on your device here is our padlock that'll pop up it looks kind of like a lock on the different browsers it may look different but it generally looks like a little padlock the other thing you'll see is where it says HTTPS okay this means secure this means it's encrypted between you and the company okay or their website <laughs> so that you can actually um, have an encrypted you know connection between them so when you're putting information like credit card and stuff like that you know it's secure now here's some good ideas to try to get over some folks that um, will still say I, I'm really concerned about using credit cards online or using my debit card well the big thing is don't use your debit card online use a real credit card in, ca in case of some um, some reason that you purchase the wrong thing or something comes and it's not right you can actually question it um, so you can dispute fraudulent charges uh, so you're not out of the pocket just like a debit card would would do uh, debit cards would draw money directly from your checking account uh, it's harder to recover that money hey Mac welcome welcome yay So set a low uh, credit limit specifically for your online purchases. Okay. Uh, I'll add there too. The big one is that they're now offering a lot of the, the uh, credit card companies are now offering a one-time number that you can use. I've even recently seen a commercial where I think it's like Capital One. It's a separate app you can download and get uh, different one-time use card numbers. But a lot of the, you know, they allow that. Uh, in the app and that you can also have a virtual card number to take with you places too okay so that could be helpful somewhere you're not sure that you've left your card somewhere you can pull the app out too all right so let's talk about gift cards okay now what I mean by this is if someone says hey I don't want to use my credit card I don't use my debit card like I said you should use your credit card not just your debit card to make purchases but if you do do realize that another alternative is to actually get a gift card for that store okay so let's say you wanted to make a purchase on Amazon or eBay or someplace online Kohl's you can go into uh, most Walmart's most CVS's most targets and usually there's Kroger uh, you know most places and there's usually a wall like for gift cards now and you can actually just put twenty dollars down and then get a gift card to said store uh, like Amazon or something you can sign in that way get a um, <laughs> use your gift card then and when twenty dollars is up twenty dollars is up okay so do I really have to have a credit card and a debit card to use online if I want to make purchase actually no you don't so you can make purchase online using the gift cards and stuff the good part about this is if you gave a gift card to somebody for Walmart, Target, Kohl's, places like that, those stores do have an online side so they could actually be used to buy things online and ship to their house. Okay, So not only stuff they could buy in the store, but also being able to make a purchase and ship to the store too. Uh, and I think also you can actually get a um, the the Visa Mastercard gift cards, but sometimes those do charge a little bit, uh, three dollars, five dollars, six dollars to put money on that card. But remember, when that money is gone, it's not connected to you in any way. So if for some reason someone did get a hold of that number or guess that number, then there you go. So let's know our rights online. So this is basically a quote. Uh, in the United States, online purchases you make with the credit card are protected by the Federal 
Credit Billing Act, which limits your responsibility for fraudulent or erroneous charges to $50, okay? Now, I've had some erroneous and faultless charges on my card before. Uh, basically contacted the credit card company and they took care of it. They never charged me $50 or anything like that, but that's just knowing the law, okay? So this is from the article on the FTC.gov website, Disputing Credit Card Charges. Also, a little bit more information there about the Federal Trade Commission topics, uh, privacy and identity, and also United States Computer Emergency Readiness Team to find out more information about that. Notice these are all .gov sites, except for this one here that just has an article on there about staying safe, and um, that means they're from the U.S. government information being posted, okay? But of course, a big one there is that talk to your credit card company if you have any questions. Call that number on the back of the, the card. Um, call that debit card number on the back of the card if that's what you're going to use. And then ask them some questions. They'll be happy to help as well. Okay. All right. So let's talk about some scams. Remember, if it looks too good, it probably, <laughs> if it looks too good to be true, it probably is, okay? So this is a big one. Uh, companies like uh, quid bids or like pay to bid sites. I'll show that real quick. I won't technically call them a scam I would just say be aware. So what exactly are companies like this and what do they do? So quid bids is one of those places. Let me zoom out here. I don't know why that's zooming that much. There we go. Quid bids is one of the websites this is not an eBay-like website. eBay, basically, you, you um, uh, go for an auction, you put the biggest price down, whoever um, puts down the highest amount of money before the, uh, the timer goes out, wins the item, they pay the money for the item, they get it. If you bid, if you bid, yeah, if you bid and you did not win, that means that uh, you don't owe eBay or some of the other auction sites um, any money at all. Okay, now quid bids sites like this are basically a pay to bid site, so I won't really say they're a scam, but it feels really scammy because basically what you do is you get the uh, the coins for the bidding, and then you basically uh, you'll actually see them on TV and people walking up saying, "Look, I got this new bike." for $14 or something like that. Well, that's great. I got this iPad for $20. That's great. But do realize there were other people that were bidding. A lot of these are penny bids. So it can charge up to, let's say, depending on what the website is, 35 cents, um, 50 cents, 45 cents, depends on what the website is, to basically bid. And if you look at the small print, so uh, it'll actually say something to the effect of if you did not win, uh, they'll be happy to sell you the item of uh, full price. Looks like they're just doing gift cards today. Okay, there's some kind of, uh, I don't know, mostly gift cards it looks like today. But there's the actual bidding things that they have there. Okay, so can you bid on something and if you don't win, you actually lose money? Yes, that's why I'd kind of put them in the scam category. Just be aware that is what's possible. Um, so if you don't win the auction, then whatever money that you put down to get the coins to um, be able to bid basically means that you will not get that money back. Okay, so it's a pay-to-bid site. Um, one person and one person basically will get a great item at a really cheap price, and everybody else will have had to pay money and won't get anything. Okay. So just be aware of that. So when you see these commercials, that's kind of what their deal is. Okay, so 
uh, be aware of uh, especially like on eBay or someplace something that says has a really high shipping rate they may realize that there's some issues with their product and when they send the product out they'll sell the product to you really cheaply but then the price of shipping is high and they're doing that because if something's wrong with the product or at least you believe there's something wrong with the product and I mean there is <laughs> maybe they don't think so uh, they actually will not refund you on the shipping um, you just have you have to pay shipping it back to them and they'll refund your money okay so just realize that that's a big one if you see a, a high shipping rate on something let's go ahead and let's look at the FBI alert website So this is the federaltradecommission.gov website. This is their scam alert uh, blog that they have. A big one on here is to be able to tell me, um, give me information to kind of protect myself online and also kind of in the real world too. So this is an interesting thing to do. You'll see that it's very recent. You see, so those need proof for COVID treatment claims. FTC, you've won. Now pay us is always a scam. Anytime you get any kind of contact information about winning something and this kind of goes more into our internet class where we talk about our scams and stuff but do realize this is a great resource if something is uh, too you know good to be true this is a good place to go here I do know that there's a lot of um, Facebook advertisement and apparently they're not regulated as much and some of it they're even selling products that look like another product for a really cheap price so do be aware if it's an item it's claiming that's even from Amazon um, and then you click and it's not Amazon and it's actually selling you something that has pictures you don't realize it but it's from their some from someone's main site and they're selling a knockoff version of that item and then you get it and you're not happy okay so just be aware of that this is a great place to go to look up stuff, scams. Here you go. Personating FTC workers. Work at home scams. I can see that's very prevalent right now. Donating in difficult times. All kinds of stuff. Click any of these. And they'll give you more information about them. It's pretty up to date. Okay. And that's just, and look, people are even posting their, their experiences, things that's happened to them. And the way that we can fight scams is basically let other people know about it, okay? I would say gossip about it, but just, you know, talking to someone or, you know, texting someone or something, and you go, did you hear about this? Did you hear that about the FBI call scam where they act like they're from the FBI? And it can actually help somebody else. Ways to vault void scam, Better Business Bureau looking up a business, of course. Like I said, be aware of uh, where you're buying your item from. Try to stick to more mainstream um, sources, which we're going to be covering that in just a minute. Uh, kind of looking at what the places recommend. You know, what kind of rating does that store have? Uh, using online payment services such as PayPal, Google Checkout, if you go to a website and it's telling you just to put in your information. Um, maybe be a little skeptical if it's not a pay way that you're used to. Okay. Give out as little information as possible. If it starts to ask too much information, especially things like what's your social security number before you can buy this item, that's very strange. Not sure, contact the seller to ask questions. So. If you get to a website, this is just kind of in general, not really about scammy stuff. Have questions, not really sure about a product. I've even done it where I called into a company and I was buying two things and I wasn't sure if they would actually um, fit together with screws and stuff that I was purchasing. And they were able to actually look at it and say, yes, that'll, that'll fit together. And um, then I said, okay, well, I'm ready to buy the items. And they said, no, we're just a helpline. We don't actually do credit card information over the phone. You go back to the website to make a purchase, and we just help. And it was like, well, this is great. 
So if you go to a website and it looks like there's a phone number there, call them, ask questions. Okay. Let's talk about our browser tabs a little bit. In just a minute, we're going to be talking about like pricegrabber.com. And I'm already kind of using the browser tabs here, as you can see. So basically, to start a browser tab, we hit the plus sign up here. If you're in a different browser, it may look a little bit different, but it, it works generally the same way. Hit the plus sign, and then the close. You type in the address you want to go to, and to close it, you just hit the X here. Okay. So if that's on this browser, or if it's on the Microsoft new Edge browser, hit the plus sign. There you go, right there, and you type in the address you want to go to. Okay, so. All right, so let's do a product search. It's still a little bit early for the holiday uh, gift giving ideas on like CNET.com and stuff. So we're going to keep going. <laughs> Sorry, I started reading something. Anyway, so uh, we actually have the uh, CNET. It's a great resource. There's also good housekeeping that will put out. We're still a little bit early for our holiday gift ideas. So let's talk about some of our main online stores. Of course, we have our Amazon.com. Uh, if you're looking for tech stuff, uh, technological stuff, you can go to TigerDirect.com. And then, of course, there's places like Newegg, eBay for stuff, Overstock.com. I know that there's a lot of companies coming in now. Of course, there's uh, websites that are specific into certain things, like Etsy is one of those. We're trying to focus on um, homemade crafts, but I will tell you, if you go to that website, there's a lot of stuff that's, um, I won't say that eBay wouldn't allow someone to post, but it's a little bit more free range. <laughs> Uh, right now um, but there you go right there you can go there and see some handmade deals see a lot of commercials for them too and some other websites that you'll see now about you know sell your stuff and you're like isn't that what eBay does but anyway so let's go ahead and let's search for some of our items here let's do a uh, GoPro Hero 8 so I'm going to go ahead and pull it up and I'll just type that into our price grabber. Let's see. Well, it's just showing me a bunch of memory cards, isn't it? Let's see. We'll get more general. Oh, a lot of accessories. Oh, maybe they don't have one listed on there. No, here, no, that's all accessories. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll do our our next part then. No, there's GoPro. Look. Oh, I don't want to see accessories. I want to see. Let's see. Okay, so that's a bunch of accessories. So let's go ahead and let's do, let's see, our next one here. Let's see. There's cases, mounts, controls. Will, why are they not showing me main stuff? No, 
that's a bunch of cases. Okay. Well, I don't fully understand that. Is he refurbished iPads? Okay. Hmm. Fourth generation, keyboard, iPad. Let's see, maybe I need to change my view. <laughs> it's definitely not what I want. Let's see, Apple. Why is it showing me cases first? Okay, here's one that says renewed on Amazon. Talking about keyboards. Hold on. Let me see here. So do we need to go our categories way? So it won't show us a bunch of Hmm. Tablet computer. There we go. Okay. So, did you see what I did? I clicked here in the category match, and then it kind of got rid of all this accessory stuff. Okay. So, we have our our um, iPad Air, they actually have a lot of renewed one on, renewed ones on here. Renewed stuff, a, a company refurbished stuff. The refurbished usually means that the actual company has refurbished it. Okay. So the good news about that is that usually if Apple refurbishes something, it will guarantee it. But do you realize some of these places you have to make sure you read the all the information about it. Amazon Fire, Amazon Fire. Let's see. Apple iPad, iPad, iPad. There you go. So we're getting some good feedback in there. It was an expensive one right there, the 256. And that's actually on. <laughs> that's funny. That's actually on. Amazon, which is going to take me to, which is one of the retailers we just spoke about a minute ago. Let's see. So 283. And let's see. And it does include free delivery. Okay. All right. So. Here's one that we'll look for. And we'll switch over to the Google Shopping in a second. Let's see. Bit bit is showing me golf. Hmm. Their algorithm must be messed up or something. Why would it be showing me golf? That's that's not accurate. Anyway, okay, let's go ahead. I don't know what the deal is with that one. That one's acting strange. But let's go ahead. Let's go to Google. Uh, the easiest way to get here uh, for most users is probably just going to google.com. You type in the thing that you're interested in. And then you'll see a button up here that says shopping. You will see this over here, but to get specifically to the shopping port, I guess you'd say, or category, just click there. Or, like I have listed, you could do google.com forward slash shopping and it'll take you there as well okay so here's kind of one where we're actually looking at a whole bunch of different sites at one time uh, don't let the eBay one throw you too much because a lot of those stores it may be an actual auction site uh, so you'll just have to check that out to, for to make sure 
Okay, so lots of different stuff on here. Go back up to the top here. Now the left side we can actually tell it the price range we're thinking about. If we want to make sure it's a new item, let's say this was a gift. So I want to make sure it's a new item not used. Uh, free shipping would be very helpful. Okay, And we can actually choose which uh, seller we prefer. Now if we actually go, here's Kohl's, here's the Best Buy, has curbside pickup it's showing already. Let's see, there's a light. Now I will tell you this, when you're searching for something here, you need to make sure that you've gone to their website's recommendation to make sure that you're getting the right model that you want. The big thing about doing this just kind of general search is, or excuse me, the shopping search is if you just type in the word camera, it's going to give you lots of ideas. This isn't really the place to do research into what you want. This is more of, I know what item I want, type in the model number, and then do a search that way. Okay, So that's pretty important because it could get confusing about the different versions they have. Like they're showing me one called uh, Fitbit Versa Lite. So you could jump on that and say, oh, I bought this and said it's cheaper. Well, that may not be the one the person wants or the one that uh, you want to give the person. Okay. Now, if I go down here and it says Fitbit Versa 2, and what are we looking for? Fitbit Versa 2 is what we want. So let's go ahead and if we look here, it'll say compare prices from 100 stores. Okay. So I'm actually going to click that. And here's a big one. It's going to take us to our other stores here and tell us basically a price of it. Now it's actually showing some suggested here free two day, free two day shipping, heart rate monitors USA, Best Buy Target, Kohl's is selling a Fitbit. Oh here you go right here comparing our prices. Uh, Kohl's uh, is we wouldn't think that Kohl's would sell something like that, but apparently they are. Nebraska Furniture Mark, <laughs> it's interesting. And you may see some other companies that you're not familiar with, and some of these places will actually have special one-day sales. Now this is talking about the local places. You notice it says in stock. Again, this is one of those where it's probably best to call the company. Um, you know, here's the local phone number right there. You could call them and just see if they actually do have the item. Okay. Even though it may say online stock, they may have just sold out. Not, you don't know. So calling and asking is the best thing to do before you made some, you know, really big travel uh, someplace else. Even kind of close, you may want to not do that. Okay, so if we go here and we look and see, we have some stuff on eBay here. 150 is one listing price. I'll go ahead and I'm actually going to get it so to open up in a new window for me. Plus shipping. Let's see. So buy it now. Is this actually from? Oh, there we go. There's our seller right there. Ooh, very low. They're positive, but it's only five people. I don't know. Oh, purchase from that person. Why is it so cheap? So let's go to, there's our best buy, but still it's $50 almost difference. Let's see, 89. One ninety nine. There you go. Too bad they're not offering a um, free two day shipping or something going on. Here's easy return. Okay, so their their sale really is it being one. Uh, 99 okay there's Walmart 
it's a dollar cheaper look at that it's a dollar cheaper and let's look like they're offering free two-day shipping on any of these stores which is very unusual but you see if we click here it'll actually show us the other stores but because it's showing it at the same price or shipping is higher which is interesting but there's your best buy uh, for making sure that it's what you want if the price was the same more of a well-known store it's probably a good idea to stick with what the the main thing is so let's go back and let's do our search for our next item here's kind of a fun one during the holidays Just a nice Monopoly board. Monopoly! There you go right there. <laughs> and all kinds of different Monopoly boards that they have. Stranger Things Monopoly board. Toy Story Monopoly board. Let's see. Alright, so if I go up here and I click there, uh, you want to make sure that you click where it says compare. Hold on, I'll show I'll do that again. See where it says compare. I know. See where it says compare, so click compare. Pops up $19.99. Wow, there's one place that has it for $30. It's $25. And usually when we get closer to the holidays, they usually sell the um a little bit cheaper too. It's kind of one of those items that usually you'll see a, a, a Black Friday or something like that. They'll talk about fifteen dollars for Monopoly board or something. Barnes and Noble shipping's kind of high. Thirty one. Wow, coal shipping's real high on that one. Hasbro toys shipping. Wow. So free delivery, okay. So Hasbro Toys. There you go, right there. Now it's a place you probably would not have looked before, okay. So the big deal about the comparison sites, you may find websites that you either had not heard about before, and it give you kind of a good start. Now, a lot of these stores, they'll actually have this thing that'll show the uh, positivity rating or negative rating on there. A big one is, let's say, let's search, if we search for like a camera. Here, let's go back to our search here. Flash drive. I'll just do a search for a camera. Let's see. I'll be very general here. So again, this isn't the best place to know what kind of brand you're looking for. This is kind of more or less the time that you know what the model number is and that's what you're searching for. So you can compare prices and stuff. Okay, wow, that's a really expensive camera. Okay, so let's go to... want to do okay so we'll do we'll do that one right there mostly I want to show y'all you'll actually see some things some stores will actually pop up that if you haven't heard of here's like straight from Canon okay Sam's Club eBay B&H so let's say with cameras a lot of folks have never heard of B&H photo video and audio they have been doing basically catalog uh, for years and because they're kind of a specialty company they're still doing very well would I purchase stuff from them absolutely I'd have no problem buying something from them and you see that they have a lot of positive views on here um, and um, I know that they're a good company but a lot of people have never heard of them before so if they're actually using this service and they popped up it may be oh I don't know them I wouldn't buy from them but do realize that 
there are some good companies on here maybe and if you haven't heard about them but with just have to check kind of the reviews and stuff see I don't know this one here Adorama but with that many reviews it probably is okay and we just click there to visit the site okay okay so we kind of covered our searching a little bit we did our comparative site some there are others out there as well and uh, you know the Google shopping one is kind of the big popular one of course alright so any questions Okay, so let's go into our next part here. Let's talk about Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and everything. It feels a long way off, but it will be, they'll start talking about it pretty soon here. <laughs> um, I can feel it. They're going to start talking about it pretty soon. Okay, so what is Black Friday, Cyber Monday? And then there, of course, we'll get encouraged. Hey, you should all should go out and buy stuff for the holidays and stuff. And like, okay, well, encouragement, encouragement, encouragement. And then they'll have all these sales and stuff. So what is Black Friday? Black Friday is actually a very positive day. Um, it's what a lot of the negatives, because they're trying to get out of the red, which is bad. And they're trying to, it's an accounting term, trying to get into the black so that they can actually have positive sale numbers okay that's kind of the simplest simplistic way to explain that um, kind of around Christmas the holidays uh, for businesses being the res there you go I just said that uh, blackfriday.com is a great resource to be able to go there and retail me not which we'll talk about briefly a little bit um, how, do, how do we load the um, Let's see. How do I load my pick to my computer? Okay, Mac, which which um let's see. Which picture are you talking about? Okay, let's see. Mac, I'm not sure what you what you mean. Okay, so you want so you got the memory card for your camera. Um what type of memory card is it?
Okay, like USB. Okay. Uh, yesterday we talked about using the down here the Windows Explorer of the File Explorer and if you plug something into the USB drive on your computer you go there and you can actually view the files on that on the the flash drive as well or if it's a memory card you may have to have either a memory card slot on your computer or you may have to get a little caddy if it's a micro SD card or something or if you don't have that memory card slot Oh sure, just let me know, okay? Okay, so talking about our Black Friday deals coming up in November, and then we have our Cyber Monday, which is November 30th this year. It's a great day for online folks. They Amazon tries to do a lot of daily deals, and searching for Cyber Monday is a good thing to do. You'll see a lot of sales on that. Okay. So as we get a little closer, that's just kind of something to, you know, kind of keep in your mind and to kind of focus in on, okay? All right, so let's talk about our price apps. I used to have one that I really liked which was Red Laser. But now we have one there's called uh, Shop Savvy, which is a good one. And of course, there's the Amazon and the eBay one as well. So the big thing about these are you can basically have it so that you could be in a store or if you have an item in front of you and actually be able to scan the item and it can search online for the item too. So the red laser app that I used to have, Shop Savvy does it somewhat uh, pretty good, but I think the red laser did a better job in the past and it would find coupons as well. So you could actually be in a store, uh, search for basically say coupons for this store and it would actually pull it up. I actually used it one time um, and I think you could do this with Google if you wanted to. Uh, basically do a search for coupons for that store and see it pop up. We'll talk about Retail Me Not in just a little bit as well. But the Shop Savvy, the big thing about that is is being able to scan barcodes for items and not only will it search online but it'll try to search uh, near you as well. Like I said, it doesn't do as good a job as a different app that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> but uh, there you go right there. So try that one, Shop Savvy. Uh, the barcode scanner so you can be in a store scan a barcode and it lets you know if maybe there's a better price uh, next door okay what about the Amazon scanner well the Amazon you basically just have the Amazon app on your phone and you tell it to scan now the interesting thing about this is not only can you scan uh, barcodes it'll scan the QR codes which some of our products might have but mostly our products have our barcodes on them and what we need to do is it'll actually not only scan the barcodes look for that price or something on amazon.com but it can actually get to scan basically the front of an item okay uh, let me see if I can explain that a little better uh, basically the face of an item so if the barcode isn't doing it let's say it's like uh, it's a box that has an image on the front of it maybe it's an electronic item instead of you just scanning the barcode maybe that's not working for some reason you can actually scan the actual picture on the box um, as, as well 
So it's a little bit more unusual being able to do that, but it can work and pull up items that are similar. Maybe the box changed, maybe the product changed, and that's why the barcode isn't popping up anymore. But did the basically the photo uh, of the front scan, and then it actually pulls it up and finds it. Now the eBay scan, again, we're dealing with barcodes. So you could pull up the eBay app. The only thing about this is not only will eBay show you the buy it now, which is basically just like it's a store, just like you'd go to Amazon. Amazon is technically uh, like a buy it now. And not only will it show you the auction items as well. So do realize that just because it says something uh, doesn't mean that that's what the item will sell at because it, if it's an if it's set as an auction then of course the highest bid um, you know wins it of course so that's a big one to kind of think about uh, but the you know, pay the money and you get it right this minute okay so let's talk about flip and I'll kind of demonstrate uh, flip a little bit So let me pull it up. So flip. <laughs> uh, basically what flip specializes in is showing you the sales papers for grocery stores and other stores as well. Mostly grocery stores is what it's kind of focusing on, okay? So I could actually look for the Kroger one. It has the Walmart that's near us, Dollar Tree, Walgreens, Sports Academy, Auto Parts Store, uh, Family Dollar, Food Line, Publix. Here's Napa, Petco's on here, Home Depot, Lowe's. Ace Hardware's on here as well. And it's their sales papers, just basically so that you can be ready. Um, Liddell's on here, or Lidl. And what you can do is you can actually view, you can do several things. Not only, so there's Kroger. So I'll just type the Kroger one. And it pops up the ad okay now one of the things I can do is if I see something I'm interested in I can actually tap it and it actually does a little circle on the item okay should be able to see that let me sit back a little further <laughs> um, so basically once you do a little circle on the item it'll add it so if I go to my shopping list on here it actually will show it listed on the shopping list so I type some soda on there and when I tap that it actually shows up in the shopping list so when you actually go uh, to get the item at the store it'll actually pop up and you can actually uh, get reminded now I'll talk about the Kroger app in just a second it'll show I can it has a section called deals that I can go to as well and again these are all things that I can add and it also has coupons where it doesn't do Kroger though it does do CVS Publix and Walgreens the loyalty uh, cards it's talking about that on there okay so you can see that but it's a big help especially if you want to see all the sales papers kind of the thing that you see when you go into the store but also what they used to put in the Sun they still put in the Sunday paper um, but you can get it on the app because they're still actually uh, creating those okay all right, so any questions about that? All right, 
So let's talk about RetailMeNot.com. The big one about this is using it to find our shopping codes, okay? Or ship, free shipping codes, shopping codes. They are technically shopping codes now, aren't they? And also there's coupons.com as well. So let's go ahead and we'll do retail me not. It'll actually show us items. Okay. It'll show us offers. 30% off promotion code for Amazon. There's stuff for Chewy. The rockauto.com. 10% <laughs> off your order and one of the things is when you're buying something online and when you're about to check out it'll usually see uh, a little little box that'll say basically coupon code promo code and I've even had it where it pops up and says hey do you have a, a coupon code and I go huh I didn't know that y'all did coupon codes I will go start searching to see if I can find one. So one time I was purchasing something. <laughs> Good. Welcome, Jan. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so uh, I was buying something and I was actually looking for it on Amazon and I found out, I wanted a little more detail about the items. So I actually went to the official website and of course they were selling the items there and they were having a sale. And the items were actually cheaper than they were on Amazon and when I was about to check out, it said, this is like the manufacturer's website, when I was about to check out, it said in the little corner, it said, do you have a coupon code? And I went, oh, I didn't know that y'all took coupon codes. I'm going to go see if I can find one. I actually did find a bunch of them on Retail Me Not. I tried to, they had a 15% off, and uh, then I copied the code, put it into the little box on their website, and it said it didn't work or it was expired or something. If you do do put in a code that basically has expired or doesn't work or it just is wrong in some way, you won't be uh, disqualified from buying anything or anything like that. And they won't yell at you. You'll just get a little thing that says that coupon has expired or that deal is unavailable or something like that. So then what you do, you just try a different coupon code. So they had one that was 10% off and I actually put that one in and it worked. So less than five minutes of work, I actually saved myself, you know, 10% off my purchase. And I didn't even realize that that website did do uh, coupon codes or promo codes or whatever. And I was able to find, and it was on Retail Me Not, I specifically remember that, uh, that did have the code. Okay. So. If you're about to make a purchase online, maybe take a few minutes and kind of look and see if you can find a coupon. A lot of the times you'll see things that says stuff like free shipping for for something $35 over. Uh, here's one that's saying free shipping code with no minimum purchase. I'll be honest, I think the minimum purchase thing is not that big a deal. The only thing is if you're trying to look for one item from this store and they're, minimum, they're trying to really encourage people to buy, let's say $35, then how does that work? Well, they know most people are buying things that let's say, you know, are $30, the average. So they want you to buy something that's a little bit more, don't they? They want you to spend a little more uh, so you can get the free shipping and they've equated it. <laughs> That instead of you buying one item, let's say for $10, you pick maybe two, maybe three items that are $35 or more, and then they win, and you win with free shipping as well, okay? So it's a good thing to have. Um, it's a good thing to know about, and we tell me not, um, it's a great website to basically get you started. Now, 
Uh, do they know about this website? Absolutely, they know about this website. That's why they put out their promo codes and then they'll let them expire after a while. Do these companies put out coupon codes on this website into the internet? Absolutely. They'll do it with advertisement, you know, all the time. Here's one it's Papa John's delivery, 25% uh, off or something, you know, what does it say? 12,000 people have used it today, okay? So a lot of these are official, a lot of these are people have posted, and all you do is you just click on it, and usually it's a code or link to one of the other websites, and you'll get that deal, okay? So all you do is you type in here the name of the business or whatever, and it will pull it up, and you probably get a good discount on something. And that's Retail Me Not. Now let's go to coupons.com. Now the big thing with coupons.com used to be that they were really a great source to print out coupons, see free printable coupons. So basically you'd print it out, it'd have the barcode on there. Um, you know, less people are trying to print out stuff. So some of this may be that you can have it like app on here. I'm not really big on using um, the coupons.com I mostly use the like Kroger app and stuff uh, when making a purchase uh, so usually I get a deal uh, that way or Kroger points is what I'm trying to focus on but this is another place to go I will tell you this they can be a little bit annoying because usually they want you to give them your uh, cell phone number and then you'll get some like texts um, you know they'll send you some tech stuff out but it's another way that they use just to kind of keep your mind instead of you having to do a username and password they'll do like your text um, excuse me your cell phone so that they can text you stuff too so basically you can add it here click add and then they'll have a big thing that you can go out and print and again these are like manufacturer coupons so what exactly is the goal that a company has with putting out a coupon? Okay, The goal with putting out a coupon is to basically what they say is change your habits. They want you to try their product and they want you to think that you've gotten a good deal on the product. Maybe it'll make you like the product more if you think you got a good deal on it. You go into a, uh, let's say a, a store, never tried this product, it's on sale okay you try the product you go wow this is really delicious this is really great um, and the next time you go back in there is no sale and they they put it at the normal price and you might be willing to buy it at the uh, regular price the next time that you really crave that item because you have had that item okay that's part of it now the other part of it is that there's a lot of people that only use coupon stuff unless there's certain items that you know they're willing to pay you know the, they think the normal normal price is a good price um, you know and they're just not really into big into premium items or something like that so it kind of backfires in one way because that means the salespeople that want a coupon they want a great deal they come in they get the item for a cheaper price and they go huh that was pretty good I'll get it next time it's on sale okay so good or bad they still making a profit in some way <laughs> okay um, especially if it's an item that can expire after a while like a food item and they want to make a quick sale then they'll put it on um, a sale so do you realize that's kind of what a coupon supposed to do is trying to change your habits come out with something you try something and then you go you know what this is a dollar more it's worth paying a dollar more uh, but I tried it when it was on sale and now I know what it's like and I'm willing to pay that a little bit more to get that item okay so that's kind of what a sales coupons are supposed to do okay all right so like I said coupons.com is a great resource they'll print off you do have to set up a username and password to really get in to be able to print the stuff let's talk about our daily deals yay <laughs> now we're kind of getting into a little bit more of the fun you know part of this 
So let's talk about our digital coupons. We'll talk about our apps. So there's Living Social, okay, and then there's Groupon. So LivingSocial.com. No, um, no, um, Google does not own Groupon. <laughs> That's a big one that they usually talk about. Google doesn't own Groupon. Okay, so I can already see that there is a local coupon that's popped up. Usually you go up here and you tell it your, your city that you're in, okay? And you may see some of these coupons overlapping because they'll basically have basically a, um, let's see, what would you say that is? like a coupon campaign, a store or business or something, so they'll actually give it to more than one. So it may be the same coupon. Usually if something, uh, an event was headed our way in Augusta, uh, we actually would, you know, I'm trying to remember the few years ago, a big thing is we had the skating rink come and you could actually go on uh, the Living Social or the Groupon one and they had fantastic Excuse me. They had fantastic um, coupons on there, and there's like light shows, like the uh, Lights of the South usually has a coupon on here, and I'm trying to think about a few other things now. Um, you know, of course, we're all still kind of staying home and safe, but right now, but of course, I'm talking about the future and stuff. Okay. Next year, yay! Next year, I'm thinking about next year. Uh, so. One of the cool things that you could do was, if you're going to go visit a city, let's say we're going to go drive to Atlanta one day, and I, maybe I have an extra day of, of not sure what to do, I could go up here, type in the city, and then it would actually pop up with like local places, let's say to eat. Oh, here it says neat, Alexander's Barbecue Place uh, is a $10 deal, we have a Costco deal. A uh, place called in Charleston, Magnolia Plantation and Gardens. A nice Sunday stroll, as they would say. Let's see, Red Box is on here. Let's see, Shooters Indoor Shooting. And now we're kind of going further out. Now we're in Pigeon Forge looking at stuff. But still, it does have coupons. And then they do have stuff they sell that they'll ship to you too, something like this, a um, pineapple decor, or they just call that a core, core, if I can say that properly. Printing stuff, Shutterfly, there you go, there's bowling, uh, I'm not sure if that's here in Augusta or not. Anyway, so lots of different things will pop up, boutiques, clothes will pop up. So a good idea would be to basically, if you're going to travel somewhere, put in the city name here. If it's a local event going on, a lot of the time the coupon will pop up. Here's a local place here uh, with kids jumping on the uh, <laughs> uh, jump, 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 climbing on ropes, all kinds of stuff. And it has a, a, a coupon there uh, for less of a price. So a lot of the places that are actually... Uh, meal places, it's kind of like uh, instead of a twenty, instead of paying twenty dollars for a coupon, you're basically paying ten dollars for a twenty dollar coupon. A lot of these do have an expiration date on them, so do realize that. What's supposed to happen is if you do uh, get the coupon and your you, you the the expiration runs out, let's say it's in three months, the expiration runs out. And you go, okay, well, what can I do now? What's supposed to happen is you go into the restaurant business or whatever, and you're still supposed to be able to get your money back of what you spent. So if I spent $10 to get a $20 gift card at a restaurant, they're still supposed to be able to, after it expires, they're still supposed to give me um, the, my $10 uh, credit to the store. Okay. Now those, you just have to talk about what it is and, of course, what the small print is and all that. But just best to use the coupon during the 
during the time frame, but just a little small note, they do expire, okay? I would say probably most of these will expire at a certain point, okay? Okay, so which one are for, I would probably do the Groupon one first, just because I've used them. These all have apps. Do you have to print out something? No, if you have the Groupon or Living Social app on your phone when you get to the business, you can just pull it out. They're, they're very similar. They pull it out, they'll actually scan the barcode, and then it'll come up as that it has been used, okay? So magazines, printable stuff, kids stuff. Let's see, it looks like soaps. Let's see, steak eaten somewhere. And stuff that's a little bit farther away in the Smokies, you know, stuff you buy. So kind of a big mixed bag, magazines on there. So yeah, soaps. Okay, it's a great thing to, to look at, see if you can get something and find a good deal on there. Again, like I said, if something's coming to city or town, want to try a new restaurant, see if there's, um, I should just type in a restaurant is what I should do real quick. Come on thing, why are you, why are you doing like that? Okay. Where's the restaurant? Maybe I should just say food. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit better. So these are all kind of different restaurants that have the the uh, coupon going on, at least uh, very close or local. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about our next part. Of course, daily deals. Amazon.com has daily deals. eBay will have daily deals as well. So I don't, it's right here today's deals. It'll pop up and it just kind of has some stuff on here. Headsets, Tupperware, let me see, um, Amazon Fire device. There was one time I was going to purchase something and it actually popped up and said, uh, basically, to, two days from now, <laughs> there was actually going to be a sale and it was going to go to the daily deals. And you see how they um, expire after a while, the, the, that price expires. There's a TV for 100 bucks. There's a Kindle for a hundred. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. So lots of things that you can see that's less of a deal. So like I said, was saying, there was something I was going to purchase and it actually popped up and said in two days they were going to be doing a sale um, with that item and I just waited the two days and just reminded myself and then I was actually able to make the purchase so the daily deals are interested interesting to look through here and if I do the electronic one on e on eBay and I click deals this will actually pop up and most of these items are new new items from their actual store owners or from eBay themselves. Shoes. That's about featured deals. A lot of watches. Because it thinks I need a watch for some reason. Clothes, hats. 
Apparently I'm in the watch zone. <laughs> Headphones on sale. As you can see, it's just stuff you scroll through as a KitchenAid. The classic. And like I said, most of these items are new. Either they're sold through um, through eBay, so there's guarantees on those as well. So that's really the two main ones I talk about with the daily deals. Now, a little bit of extra here. We're talking about coupons. So make sure that you're checking the, the Gas Buddy. GasBuddy.com. GasBuddy.com apparently has an app now too, but you can very quickly go to this website and go up here and say find gas, search by city, we'll do search, put our zip code in. Ooh, two dollars. All right, A Kroger, Kroger one ninety nine. Okay. I will tell you this, some of the places they'll actually have the price and then in very small print it will say um, if you're part of the club. And this is another thing that I'll talk about as well, making sure that you check your credit statements and of course bank statements because sometimes you'll see uh, things will charge. This is actually the Walmart gas station uh, in Evans. They call it Murphy USA. So if you did get gas there, it will not come back as Walmart gas, it comes back as Murphy USA. And sometimes when you make purchases, it actually will not be the company's name on, on there. It'll actually list the, the, um, the company's uh, credit card billing service, okay? So if it says something like, you know, Credit USA, it may be that's just the name of the service you use to pay with a credit card. But don't let that throw you. Sometimes you have to look back at what the price actually is. Okay, so lowest price is 184. Where's 184? Interesting. I guess that's not near me, so it's not telling me that. Okay, so there's the gas buddy right there. Kroger. There you go. And that's actually user submitted, so that's pro that's pretty accurate too. Okay, so let's finish up here talking about our retail coupons and then our retailer apps, and then we'll finish wrap our class up. So there's Kroger.com, and I'll tell you a little bit about um, my secret to using their digital coupons. Do you realize that Kroger and Walmart are actually waiving their charge for curbside pickup? So if you want to try that service, now is a good time to. Did I not hit enter? Oh, it's loading. Uh, if you want to try those services, yep, the Kroger, the pickup and everything. Curbside pickup, place the order with the app, and then go in and pick it up. Now is a good time to try that because they're not charging a um, pickup fee uh, to get any, someone to go inside and get all your stuff together and then come and bring it out to the car. Big recommendation on that. So here's Kroger.com. Going to show us all this, but we can actually see all of this with our app as well. So they also do digital coupons. Okay. So one thing that happens to me is I, instead of looking through, you know, all these digital coupons on here to see if there's ones that I'm interested in, one of the thing you can do is if you go into the actual store, usually there is, and let me look at the sale paper here, where is it? There is weekly ad. I do have an ad blocker on, so let me. There we go. So basically it pops up here and let's see there's a digital where's digital. Mm 
Mm. Okay, how do I go over there? Usually it's labeled. There you go. Digital deals right here. Okay, so sometimes if I'm in the store and maybe I haven't looked at the digital deals, what they want you to do is they want you to load the digital deals, basically adding them to your card. The easiest way to do this is to have it so that you actually have added it, the coupon to your the app on your phone is the easiest way to do it. Now, another way to do it is, let's say you're in the store, okay? And you see is a sign that says, there's this is a digital deal. Let's say for these, uh, the Fritos or whatever this is, okay? And you're like, this is great. I really wanna get this. Oh, I have to figure out how to do this. So you could pull your app out, scan, um, search for this, this, or look at the weekly ad, try to add it to your account that way, and you're trying to figure out exactly how to do it. Because, okay, well, the easiest way to do it I've actually found is if I actually hold the item in my hand, <laughs> scan it, actually pull out the, have the item in your hand, pull out the app, scan with the Kroger app on your phone and it'll say oh well that price of that item is you know blah 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 did you know there's a daily de there's a digital deal with that or digital coupon with that and you go oh well, thank you and you just tap to add it so it really takes about two taps uh, to be able to add a digital deal if you do it that way see the sign hold the item scan the barcode it'll pop up and say hey did you know this digital deal hit add and then boom you can put it right in your cart and you know that you got um, the, the the digital deal okay okay so that's one way to do it that's kind of what I recommend and I've even been in the store where they'll have the free item on there and it's like I'm trying to find the free item but look through it decide what you want and remember a coupon is trying to change your habits uh, so if you do kind of look here and you like if it's something you normally like normally buy um, Then you can usually find a good deal on it, but you may want to try something new as well, okay? So there's Kroger there's also Target has one as well and Walgreens too Let's talk about some of our services with our apps okay so this is our last page here we'll finish up here and see if there's any other questions and then we'll finish up class so a big one is McDonald's okay McDonald's will I like to say and McDonald's Chick-fil-a uh, will fr uh, throw free food at you <laughs> Uh, Chick-fil-A, the way theirs kind of works is that they, uh, the more you use the app, the more points you get to redeem. So anytime you eat there, make sure that you're logged in. Make sure you get your, your um, bar, you know, the barcode or the QR code uh, scanned with your app. So if you're even driving through the drive through you know, get someone to scan it so that you'll get the points for it. And then it'll start saying, hey, you get a free cookie, you get a free ice cream, free drink, free meal. Depends on how many times you go there. But usually if you go there twice, the next time you're coming, you'll get something free for sure. Okay. Uh, the good part about this is uh, now McDonald's, uh, Chick-fil-A, a lot of these other restaurants actually have curbside uh, takeout to you. So basically you can pull up to a certain place. You order off the app, give it a number, and then they'll actually bring the food out to you instead of you having to um, drive through even or even go inside and order as well. Some of these places, of course, are closed on the inside. So do realize there is no inside ordering. It's drive through or app only, okay? It's a lot less stressful to pull up into the, uh, the, the curbside, <laughs> order that way, just give it a little bit and then someone to be nice enough to bring out your order as well. I'm actually finding out that ordering that way is a lot more consistent and uh, places like Sonic do it too. They actually have their 
uh, half price drinks at least the last time I was I was there it's been about a week or more than a week but had the half price drinks uh, happy hour is all the time if you order through the app um, so if that's continuing <laughs> maybe going to Tuesday get you a half price burger and get you some half price uh, drinks there you go so uh, the chick-fil-a app like I said and McDonald's that's how you can add free fry Friday they have deals all the time on the McDonald's app and it's very easy to order as well most things used to be really big was adding points uh, to your food uh, so modes used to have a big thing about scanning as well um, you know and let me know if there's any new ones coming out I've always been disappointed with Wendy's and some of the other ones not basically having the same promotion as McDonald's and of course Chick-fil-A but you know those are the two uh, giants in their field I guess you would say <laughs> about um, you know convenience and food and all that kind of good stuff uh, so the free fry Friday with the app you can just add it um, and but the problem is with that is you can only use one coupon at a time so so you go right there and uh, just a little side note Chick-fil-A is starting to sell uh, new stuff now too they actually have a, a chicken um, Alfredo with noodles uh, deal you can get for two for like fourteen dollars and you come home and finish uh, you know halfway cooking like noodles and stuff like that and it's their chicken breast so it's really good too just a little side note there now I've, the Walmart app used to be a lot easier to do this to get some credit back um, with them with with them with the price drop but they they used to have this thing where you scan the receipts but now they're kind of really focused on you paying through the app with your credit card and then they can track that way so kind of call, falling out of favor that way because it's just a lot more um, troublesome but that still is available Dollar General does do digital coupons as well, so do realize that. There you go. Are you talking about earning? There you go. Digital coupons on here, so do realize that if you do frequent any of these stores, just take an extra five minutes before you go in there to scan over some of this you may be going in there let's say to purchase drinks or uh, you know fabric softener or some kind of cleaner and then you've saved yourself a dollar was that worth five minutes yes I think so so there you go right there and it gets you you know you'll feel more informed as well and tell other people about the these things too the website here that I don't actually go into the double couponing <laughs> but there's some people that do so I just have a link to the queen apparently of double couponing and she has a great article here kind of explaining it all and getting involved in that I don't think some of our digital coupons can be used that way but you, that's a great place to start of course search for double couponing too all right so any other questions? So let's talk about what we covered today. We talked about shopping online safely, okay? Making sure we see that HTTPS code or we're, or we're shopping with our apps, knowing our rights, uh, basically, um, the big thing is to contact the credit card company immediately when we think or our bank immediately when we think there's something fraudulent going on okay we talked about using our browser tabs we also talked about product search oh well, a little side note a good idea with credit card in general is a lot of these these allow you to have an app on your phone or and or set it up that anytime that's been used you get an alert when when it's been uh, and it'll pop up on there I personally have that set up uh, that way on my device so anytime I make a purchase with the credit card 
it'll actually pop up and say so and so was charged uh, this was about almost two years ago now and I had taken a trip out of town and all of a sudden about a month later uh, I was getting uh, very very quick within about a five minute period the three things and where I had traveled it actually said it was charging my account there just small stores and I immediately called the credit card company and said I'm not you know in that city I recently traveled there about a month ago so maybe that's how they got this credit card number and and um, they said no problem thank you for letting the credit card company actually thank me and said thank you for letting us know about this and I went okay sure and they canceled the number and they sent me a new number you can be very protective and secretive about your number a lot and all of a sudden can they guess what your number is yes they can they can try to run credit card number generators and stuff like that so if someone does get your credit card information it may not be your fault in any way they may have actually guessed what it is okay um, we talked about doing a product search and comparison sites talked about Black Friday Cyber Monday different apps uh, lots of great deals with our app coupons and stuff McDonald's chick-fil-a um, like I said Sonic now is doing a lot of deals with their app as well um, you know so a lot of great stuff there Kroger and of course Walmart and stuff doing the curbside uh, pickup so we covered a lot didn't we mm hmm so let's talk about what we're going to be covering this afternoon this afternoon at 2.30, we're going to be doing Internet and Browser Basics. Okay, uh, Come for me for that. We'll talk about searching the Internet, including websites, browsers, um, add-ons, ad blockers. We'll be talking about that and recommended websites to visit. And then tomorrow at 11 o'clock, we're going to be doing Introduction to Raspberry Pi Computing and Projects. And we'll be talking about Google Search and Internet Safety Basics. And that afternoon, including fake news, searching for internet, a little bit more getting into scams that you may hear about, and protecting yourself online. Here's our full schedule for the rest of the month. And of course, a reminder our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Curbside holds pickup is available. You can go to gchrl.org for details or call into the library for questions Monday through Friday. 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Please don't forget to like our Facebook pages so you'll be kept up to date and also like our videos and please like this video too and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll be updated when we post something too. Okay. So uh, uh, also you can search for our YouTube channel GCHRL videos. And we have come to the end of class, so thank you for coming so much. I'll see you next time. Of course, this video will be available for replay later. Please share with friends or family. And, of course, with the replays, you can fast forward or rewind and, uh, you know, tell your family members, you know, skip to so-and-so minutes, and then you can see the part that I wanted you to see. Okay? Thank you so much. Stay safe. Looks like the sun's out today. Might be a good day for go for a walk. Okay? So have a great day. I'll see you this afternoon or I'll see you in one of my future classes. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>